Mimic Brew is goaded. Mimic Brew is indeed goaded. Mimic Brew, I like your takes, bro. There's videos I've seen. You have you have very, very solid takes of people. Also, big shout out to Mimic Brew. Make sure y'all go check out his channel. His great, great content. Mimic Brew is goaded. Mimic Brew is indeed goaded. Mimic Brew is goaded. Mimic Brew is indeed goaded. Goaded, goaded, goaded. Am I really about to do this whole video looking like Shiny Bert? Alright. What's going on, Bruce? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about GameStop, a whole bunch of prices going up, going down, and just overall, an overarching philosophy. I have that right now is one of the best times to be a Pokemon TCG collector. Maybe not a ultra modern sealed box distributor or seller, but to be a collector of Pokemon cards for so many reasons that I'll get into. I think now is the best time, the just absolute best time to be into Pokemon cards and be a player. All right, but GameStop, I'm gonna sum this up very quick. Boycott that shit, okay? This whole GameStop thing, go where GameStop's coming into the scene like like crypto bros, like it's 2021, except it's GameStop. Okay, look, you can't be selling hollows for a dollar, reverse hollows for a dollar, you know, in physical locations, and then on top of that, overcharging for slabs, by like 30 or 40 percent here's my ultimate take on the whole GameStop thing it is completely pointless and useless and just irrelevant to people like us people who know what we're doing okay and here, here's what I'm talking about you want to bring a bunch of slabs that you don't give a crap about to GameStop to trade in I guarantee you you take those exact same slabs to a card show and you'll get double that in trade in credit to get other cards or other slabs. Like if you trade in your graded slabs, even the ones you don't want at all, you think nobody wants, a GameStop will give you five bucks for, you can literally get 20, 25 trading credit at card shows to certain vendors, all right? <clears throat> so look, that's the worst thing you could do is trade your slabs into GameStop from what I've seen, okay? So boycott GameStop, all right? Okay, now let's talk about some things for the investor bros. Investor bros. Okay, so first of all, here's uh, if you need to get caught up. Obviously, Sword and Shield is no longer being printed, okay? So, just like that, all the alt art sets are to the moon, more or less. Uh, let's see. So, the alt art's to the moon, but here, trainer galleries and secret rares are starting to shoot up too, okay? So as far as trainer galleries go, it's mainly just like your your uh, evolutions. All the Blazikins have shot up quite a bit in the last week or two as well. Uh, Mimikyu's, let's see, uh, Sylveon, yeah, Umbreon. A lot of trainer galleries just across the board going up, but very specifically, some of the higher end ones like the Rayquazas, the Garchomp V, yeah, the Umbreon, the Mimikyu, the Sylveon. A lot of trainer galleries. Uh, the Pikachu VMAX going up. I love that, okay? I absolutely love that. All right, so what else? Crown Zenith. My, my set. Everybody's favorite set, okay? All the golds. Leafeon. Glaceon. What is it? The Darkrai. 
all that starting to pop off the Mewtwo and for good reason right Japanese Japanese overall in general is down down big time there was a huge Japanese bubble and it was bound to pop especially when you consider how many Pokemon cards are printed in Japanese to meet demand we are getting a second a, a second Pokemon 151 reprint already okay so as far as the Japanese collector side of things if you're a buyer it's definitely time to buy if you're someone who was holding I'm sorry just keep holding a little while longer because if there's one thing we know this hobby the people just they just suck all that stuff up okay they just literally suck it up Poke Beach today came out with an article that what was it 11.2 billion Pokemon cards were printed in 2023 up literally 1.5 billion from the year before and that's like four consecutive years of me 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 okay you may see some uh some other poke tubers make a big deal about this 11.5 or 2 billion but the thing is guys there are more players than ever there are more rippin shippers than ever it is printed in more languages than ever all i'm saying is don't let the numbers fool you this all gets sucked up okay i'm just saying it all gets sucked up don't think because 11 billion that means the future of pokemon is doomed because it's, it's just not the the popularity is just matching the print demand i promise you okay unless you're like vivid voltage although Seeker Rare, Pikachu VMAX doing very good. All right, so here's the thing. With Sword and Shield, ooh, wait, 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 wait. I want to get into Scarlet and Violet because Scarlet and Violet, so Sword and Shield, the alt arts, the trainer galleries, and certain, certain Seeker Rares going up a lot, big time, boo, just in the last two or three weeks, just with confirmed no reprint. But Scarlet and Violet era cards are starting to make moves as well. Case in point, Magikarp, Tyranitar, Raichu, and certain others, all right? Making huge moves. We're not even talking like little moves. We're talking, is Groudon 50 bucks yet? Those kind of moves, like literally, okay? So all I'm saying is now, is a great time to be a collector of Pokemon cards because when there is this much price price action going on in so many different categories one if you own these cards you can decide to move them and you can be compensated fairly should you move them but what this also means is other cards that people aren't freaking out about right now are potentially at amazing deals and what am I talking about I'm talking about Sun and Moon cards. I'm talking about X and Y cards. I'm talking about cards that two years ago everyone was freaking out about. And now, you know, you can only freak out about so much stuff at once, right? So while everyone's freaking out about alt arts, just saying, if there's some tag team cards, maybe there's some, some waifu cards, you know, no one cares about waifus anymore. You still want that $300 Erica? Well, you know, $180 now probably, right? So when there's this much price action, when there's this much interest and this much moving in all these different categories and card values, it gives you, the buyer, or you, the seller, opportunities where people are and aren't looking. So while everyone's freaking out about Moonbrion, Maybe it's a good time to buy Latios and Latias. Tag team, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, overall, the Pokemon TCG, the actual game itself, is exploding. Uh, we got another big tournament coming up here very soon. Very, very soon. Um, world, right? 
I don't know. Point is, price action moves more than ever based on the playability of cards. And even if you're someone who doesn't play the game, it is, in my opinion, a lot of fun paying attention to what's playable and then using that to your advantage, you know, sell those cards, you know. And I really appreciate that aspect because no matter how much we, the collectors, love or hate or, you know, whatever, pump these cards, the players and the player base will always be there, even if we're not. But you gotta love it, okay? So, yeah, it's hard to make money selling a brand new booster box right now, but other than that, there's, it is a good time. It is an absolute great time to be in the Pokemon. I, I'm getting cards that I absolutely love for amazing deals, and a couple cards I'm selling, and I'm getting compensated amazingly for it, okay? Uh, all you gotta do is don't get caught up in hype, and just collect what you love. You collect what you love, okay? You do that and everything's gonna be just fine. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Deuces.